Hey, Tracy, I have a question for you, okay? How do you decide the right size of rug for a room? We're staying in a great place to talk about this. We actually have in this room a nine by 12, and then we have in the next room a five by seven, and in this room next door, we have an eight by 10. So how do you figure out which size to put in which room? Obviously your room is going to dictate that in terms of the size of the room, but there are a few tricks I use, so let's go look at them. Tracy knows this is the biggest room. It is. So because this room is really large, we needed a significant size rug. Um, the rule of thumb I usually like to use, and I've already taught you about the, gotta have the front legs of all the pieces of furniture on the rug. The next rule is you wanna make sure you have at least 12 to 18 inches of space around the perimeter of the room that's not the rug. So you'll notice I have space all the way around the rug. Uh, and it's, it's about two feet here. It's about 22 or so feet there. And that's okay. It's just that you want to have it be significantly sized enough. If I put a real tiny five by seven in here, it's going to look really dwarfy. I wouldn't be able to fit all the legs onto it either. Great, Greg. Because yeah, I would have probably just put a rug right here and maybe just had the front legs on it. Right, but that would have felt right and small. And what it does is it, it gives too much attention to the rug because it's not proportionately sized to the room. And so people are looking at that instead of feeling the whole size and scope of the room. A grand room needs a grand rug. A little room needs a little little rug. So now, Tracy, it looks like we're in a dining room. How do you figure out the right size of rug for this room? Sure. So in this space, the same rule applies. Now, remember, most rugs, if unless they're custom, are going to be certain sizes. So 8 by 10, 9 by 12, 5 by 7. So you're kind of limited if you want to keep your price range down. Whenever you go custom, they get more expensive. So I just did an 8 by 10 in here. It's not the perfect size because you'll notice my rule of 12 doesn't quite work over there, 12 to 18 inches around the perimeter, but it's pretty close. Um, the other thing you want to keep in mind, you want to be able, when you pull the chairs out, they need to still mostly be on the rug, okay? If they're not, like if I put a 5 by 7 on here and these chairs are not then on the rug, you're going to have a hard time squeezing your eye, I think, as they're going to hit the rug edge, right? Yeah. So that's another reason why we want to proportion it to not only the floor, but to your table as well. So Tracy, I kind of feel like Goldilocks in the three. Honestly, yeah, it's kind of like that. So you got a large room, the medium room, and then obviously a smaller room. Yep. And so again, you'll see we're going smaller. I didn't want to go with custom here, so I'm doing a five by seven rug. It fits in the space. Um, I have it turned proportionately, so all the legs are on, on the rug. And it doesn't overwhelm the space. It doesn't go right up to the edges. And we still have that nice perimeter around the edge of the of the room. Hey, Tracy, that was really helpful. Make sure that you like and subscribe so you can catch all of our videos. And make sure you comment below with what questions you have about rugs or staging a home. This is Misty Mechke, Realtor with Hunskers. And I'm Tracy from Solo Home Staging. Thanks for joining us.